Welcome back to the channel, guys, with Paradox the Rapper. Right here, I got my man. What's going on, guys? What's your name? Michael, man. Michael. Yes, I'll tag his Instagram somewhere right here, but let's check out. Is this a Challenger? Challenger. I keep getting them mixed up between <laughs> Challengers and Chargers. Here is uh, my 2015 Dodge Challenger RT Plus. So the Plus is just the premium package. It's the top of the line RT you can get. It comes with the top of the line seats. It actually got a little bit better performance because I got the better intake on it. Okay. Um, I got the SRT springs. Yeah. And uh, shocks on there as well. Okay. I'm um, size that. Yeah. Sick. Previously, we have already worked on this car. I never made a video about this, but um, I wrapped it in a tech wrap carbon fiber. You can see it right here. Um, trunk, spoiler, and then we got the hood. And he did some custom. What's that? What do you call that? Yeah, let's just call it the fascia. I, I just call it the Oh, custom. the fascia. Okay, yeah, custom fascia. fascia. That's dope. Yes, so I, I basically ran tape this way and then just cut all that off kind of evenly. So it, all the carbon kind of flows. What's important about this is that you have to match the stitching. So all the stitching goes that way. Oh, yeah, we did the mirrors too. Now you do realize you're going to send me pictures of what you want. Yes, sir. And then it's going to be up to my interpretation. Yes, sir. All right. I, I trust you 110%. That's, that's always man. the deal. 110%. You, you're going to do a good job. I already know it. What, I once I do it, you can't be like, oh, I don't like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. But I, I got trust in you, brother. I know I'm going to love it. I okay. Love it. Sweet. I'm going to let him have an opportunity to design some of his own designs. So he's laying the tape down where two colors will meet. So this is kind of how you do it. What you're gonna do is when you wrap, you wrap one color and then you wrap another color right on top of each other. And then you pull the tape and both colors should meet where you pull the tape. So you like it like that? Yeah, maybe a little bit more round. What, round right here? Yeah, yeah. I'll pick it up. You can pick it up and re reposition it. This is called knifeless tape. You can get this um, online. Just Google knifeless tape. You can go to Metro Restyling. There you go. You like that? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's do a big ass one in the back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see where he chooses to lay his piece. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. It has to end. It has to end somewhere. Okay. So we'll just let him do that. Oh, you're getting all fancy and shit. Look at that. You don't want to go through the gas cap. You want to go around it. Okay. Uh, just kind of like dope. Hey, you man, it's all you, baby. Oh. And then that way, the second color can kind of. Oh, okay. I feel yeah. you. Yeah. That's tight. Okay. Yeah. Cut that off. Oh yeah. But the top part right here, it has to end somewhere. Okay. You want to end it at yeah. the. At the at the rubber or something? Yeah, yeah. We'll hit it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We'll hit it like that. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna continue, and then uh, we'll get into it and show you how it's done.
we're back a week later. Um, this one was kind of interesting. We did do it where it was, the deal was I had leftover materials. He picked three colors and he can use, I'll use whatever I have left over. Okay. So that's, that's the caveat, <laughs> but I still think it looks good. Man, I'm excited, uh, okay. Man. So let's, let's do this. Can't wait. This is the first time doing this. And um, if you look real closely, it's never going to be perfect. To have right, perfect camo, you need, you to, need to do the, the whole, whole thing, thing yeah, in camo. We, okay. we experiment this time, so that's okay. all right. All right. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, <laughs> that is way better than I expected. Yeah? Oh, man. Yes, sir. Shoo. <laughs> this is clean. And he threw more black in it. Oh. You like that? Yes, sir. Oh, this is this is way better than <laughs> This is awesome. Jesus. Yes, this is fantastic. Cool. Hell yeah. Alright. Is it sick? Yeah. Give me some. This is the one right here, man. <laughs> I ran out of material. <laughs> That's the bottom line. I ran out of all the colors pretty much to do any pieces that are significantly to the same size. Um, so that's why the whole back end is not really wrapped. Um, but I mean, that's just what happens. What was important is to get these big pieces right here. Oh yeah, get that, get that perfect in color. So when these two panels meet, I would do one piece first, this big piece first, and then I would just cut out. So this very lightly. This is on top, or no? They meet together. You see that? Okay. There's no. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, there's I no see seam, you. right? Yeah. Some. Yeah. I mean, some places are not perfect because you will never yeah, get it lined up perfectly. Yeah, it's, it's more but better, better touch. It's basically, if you watch the time lapse, you would see that I did this piece first, and then I did this and piece, on, it... right? But to do this, I had to cut like right here very lightly off of the <clears throat> the white right and then i pull the knifeless okay. no and then i left the knifeless on then i put the gray on then i pull the knifeless then i have to like kind of peel this back okay. but because i peeled it back a little bit this wasn't originally like one piece and then it started lifting a little bit so you have to cut it off okay yeah, yeah. Like, no, basically <laughs> I I yeah I so how you did the, the giant pieces of the white that is Perfect. This is a good size for you? This is perfect. Okay. Ba basically, um, yeah, adding black was a good idea because just doing the two colors, it was very hard to just do it overall and yeah, make it look I good. I was looking at the, uh, the red one I sent you. Yeah. And I noticed he had two colors and then he added the black. I was watching his, his YouTube when he got it done. Okay. And I was like, that did put it together. It came together. Even even on my dark color, Yeah. it bring it together. I'm glad, I'm glad I asked for that. That really came together. Awesome. yeah dude uh that's good right so i covered as much of the top as i can um yeah, that's good. with yeah. that stuff because you're gonna get more sun exposure coming from the top yeah. and like i said uh this patchwork camo is you don't want to keep it on for that long because you, it will fade your paint differently right right so right here is his paint it's gonna be that's fading that's lighter than the rest of the car that's covered what made you decide to do this I don't know, I wanted to do something different, something unique, something uh, you don't really see on the streets or in on YouTube. Because I'm gonna be doing, like I said, I'm gonna be doing my YouTube channel. Oh, and, uh, that's what's up. We need more, no more NorCal YouTubers man, for I sure. I swear to God, I swear to God, <laughs> yes. man. So we're gonna be doing it. You remember, you remember when, the, when you dropped it off, you did your own cut? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there? Oh yeah, you're right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and I right think, here. I think the other one you did was like 
over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. His own custom cut, guys. What's up? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. He actually used to do YouTube. And uh, you're going to start another channel? Yeah, I'm, pro I'm probably going to go off that channel. Uh, I might take it and, and change it. I might uh, make two channels very similar. Did you did you have, uh, how many subscribers did you have when you first did it? Honestly, I don't have a lot. I have maybe like 50. Maybe, oh, okay. Maybe, okay. Maybe even like 20. But uh, no, it's Arcade with a K. Uh, you can't miss it. Um, I'll link your channel right down here. Yeah, boom, okay. boom. I'll send that to you. And uh, yeah, it's I used to dance. And uh, it used to be all kinds of gliding. Oh, he... You're, I, you're I a popper. Okay, yeah, okay. I, Let me see what you got. Let me see what uh, you got. I used to glide, all kind of stuff. You know, all right, here, here. How about this? We're going to get do like a 15 second. I'll put some music behind it. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Sick! <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Oh, <laughs> we're going to throw some tunes behind that shit. Yeah, you Woo! Out, you <laughs> I always want to learn how to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I, I learned uh, at home by myself. Uh, I used to watch a lot of people. I used to watch Chris Brown. Oh, I used shit. to watch this guy. His name's Nonstop. Okay. Best guy you can watch. He's fucking awesome. Hell yeah. And just watch at home, man. Take the moves into your brain and go try it. That's the best thing hey, you can do. That's what you got to do. You got to practice. Man. Just yes, like sir. rapping. Got to practice. Sweet. Look at this guy. Fancy with his remote start. All right, let's see this bad boy. Right, guys that's it for this video for those of you who have been hiding from the rona at home get some rap and try this <laughs> yeah, man, you ain't even gotta be here to do it just drop it off man okay a legend. yeah so this is how you do it with a blade and some knifeless tape so leftover wrap can be very useful so until next time like comment subscribe let him know how his car is and we'll catch you guys later <laughs>